Hmm. All right. 7.47 now. Okay, so you be, speaking of remembering the time, you remember the early days of the pandemic? We met an artist who does some of the most amazing drawings that you've ever seen. His subjects are some of those legendary figures in sports, pop culture, and one of his works recently caught the eye of one of those legends. John is standing by with this fantastic story. That's a drawing we were looking at. Fantastic. That was not a photograph. Yeah. Uh, Keegan Hall is joining us this morning. Keegan, good to see you again. Welcome. Hey, thanks, John. Thanks for having me back. Appreciate it. Okay, so uh, I want to get right to it. Uh, one of the pictures that you drew that I think, I believe we showed it last time was a famous picture of Michael Jordan from the slam dunk competition is a photograph that you then turned into a drawing. Pick up the story from there. What happened after that? Yeah, I remember I finished it, um, was excited to share. I posted it on um, social media and basically went crazy at that point. It got shared all over the world and uh, crashed my website. I was kind of freaking out, <laughs> panicking, like what to do next. And uh, kind of in the midst of the chaos, I got uh, a pretty special phone call. And uh, it was essentially that, you know, Michael was interested in having you do a Having me do a piece for him, so it was a pretty shocking call, to, to say the least. That is incredible. Okay, so then you you then drew something for Michael Jordan, and you got and you you hand delivered it to him. Is that correct? Yeah, that was basically the, the directive, right? It was like he wants you to do a piece for him, and you know, oh by the way, he wants you to personally deliver it to him. So I was like, oh what? crap, this is crazy. You know, he yeah. wants to fly you and your family out to his golf course in Florida. And uh, you know, meet you and uh, kind of give you the full experience. So I was just like blown away, shocked. I didn't even know how to react. It was pretty wild. Uh, I mean, he is one of those guys. We'll, we'll get. I want to get to other stuff. He's one of those guys that to me, he has like an aura around him. Like when he walks into a room, the whole room feels it. I'm curious when you're standing there with his arm around you, do you feel that, or is he just a normal <laughs> dude? Yeah, you know, that's what was so crazy because, you know, we've all heard the stories. We all grew up with MJ as, yeah. you know, just being godlike, right? And um, that, that's how it was for me. And maybe it was we, maybe it was because we were in a more of a private setting. But, uh, you know, I was there and he kind of just walked in the room and we just kind of hit it off to start yeah. talking like old friends, right? So it was like, it went from like me being super nervous to him just like, calming me down and just hanging out like two friends. Okay, so you have done I mean, lots of work. We focused on Michael Jordan here, but you, you have done, so you're from Seattle. You have done Seattle athletes like Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, one of ones that I was really jealous of, you did a, a picture of Eddie Vedder from Pearl Jam. You guys, you did something with him too, because you're doing a lot of this for charity. Explain the, the charitable aspect of what you're doing. Yeah, I mean, most of my artwork is for charity. It's just something that kind of dates back to when I was a kid growing up with, um, you know, basically poor, right? So I wanted to kind of give back to help kids like me. So I've been fortunate to uh, team up with a lot of different athletes, musicians. And I think the one you were alluding to is that one with Eddie Vedder, right? Um, yeah. I'm a huge Pro Jam fan also. So uh, we teamed up. Um, I do prints, I sell these prints. We donate 100% of the money to charity. That one with Eddie sold out instantly, $100,000. To uh, EBRP, um, so just another kind of big success. It was amazing. Uh, I have to imagine that when he saw your picture, this is gonna be my Eddie Vedder impression. He was like, "Whoa, that's really cool." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we I got to spend a little bit of time with Eddie before, and we shot a little promo video and stuff. So yeah, that's that's pretty close. That's pretty close to his reaction. Um, so not bad. By the way, yeah, that's the, that's the right behind you there uh, on our bottom right of the screen here. You can see that's the picture. You did. That is a drawing of Eddie Vedder. I'm curious because uh, I read this. This was funny. Uh, when you went to art school and the feedback was not great. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that story really uh, started from my freshman year. So really before I got into the art program. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I basically had a teacher that just said I wasn't I wasn't good enough and kind of uh, made an example of me in front of the whole class. No Essentially way. embarrassed me with uh, one of my pieces. So, um, you know, being kind of that shy, fragile kid growing up, that essentially crushed my art dreams moving forward. And, uh, you know, once I graduated college, I gave it up completely. I had no plans of ever returning to art again. So it's kind of it's kind of crazy that I'm here right now talking to you about art. Uh, you know, I crazy. think I, I would suggest you draw a picture of that teacher and send it to him. <laughs> I would love to find her. It wasn't even part of the faculty. It was like oh. a grad student. So it was oh. like, oh, 
<laughs> um, okay, so what, what, wow. what are you working on next? What, what, what can you tell us about your next project? I have some crazy ones coming up. Lots more charity. I just want to go bigger. Mm -hmm. Like every athlete I work with, I want to go bigger. Like worldwide is the next one, like an international one. Um, you know, being from Seattle, um, I'm, I'm a UW grad. So, you know, some stuff with UW coming up. And then uh, something really, really special at the end of the year that uh, I can't wait to Can share. Can you give us a hint as to what that yeah. is? Can you give us a hint? Uh, it's going to be um, probably the hardest drawing I've ever attempted. Oh. So that first Jordan one was the hardest, and uh -huh. I want to try to one-up that one. Okay. So oh, dang. Okay. Well, uh, your website is keeganhall.com. If people want to buy prints, do they go there? Yeah, everything's right there. You can find me, social media online, everything. Uh, Keegan, thank you so much, man. You're becoming a Seattle legend. It's like Ken Griffey Jr., <laughs> uh, you, and Sir Mix a Lot are like the big three there. <laughs> trying to get on that Mount Rushmore, man. Yeah. Just trying to do it. Uh, Keegan, best of luck to you, man. Thanks for talking with us again. Thanks, John. I appreciate it. Uh, Court. That is, it blows my mind that those are drawings. Yeah. That's ex exceptional. And also, the fact that he pointed out that, you know, somebody tried to crush his dreams prior to them coming true, all these college students who are starting college right now take this as a note. Keegan, blowing folks out of the water. Mm -hmm. I, I remember you reading somewhere that most people think that they're not good artists because somewhere in their childhood, somebody said, a teacher or a parent or yeah. somebody said something like not nice about their artwork, yeah. and then they, that crushes your your spirit. Man. Thankfully, it didn't for him, though. I love this story. Yeah. I love it. All right. Thanks, Dabs. Hey, you know what they say. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again, like Keegan.